The Istif class does not symbolize a milestone in frigate design. Nonetheless, it marks a notable advancement in Turkish ship design and construction capabilities. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the Istif class, the new frigate in the game. The Istif class, also known as the E-class, Istanbul class or TF-100 class, represents the next step in Turkey's Milgan project. Named after the Milli Gemi, which means national ship, this program aims to establish the country as a significant player in this field and appears to be progressing smoothly. The Istif class frigate follows the Ada class corvette and is the last step before the TF-2000 class destroyer. To better understand this journey, let's briefly examine the events that led to the development of the Milgan project. After becoming a NATO member, in the early stages of the First Cold War, Turkey received military aid programs from the USA and the UK and acquired numerous surplus ships either free of charge or at a low price. However, the ethnic tensions in Cyprus ended this honeymoon. Turkey's first attempt to land on the island was thwarted in 1964 by the ultimatum of US President Lyndon B. Johnson, who stated that Turkey could not utilize US weapons for such an operation. Therefore, Ankara decided to establish a national defense industry. Consequently, Turkey launched an escort destroyer named TCG Berk in 1967. Being a modified version of the US Cloud Jones class, she was the first modern major surface combatant built in Turkey and the Eastern Mediterranean. The 1974 Turkish invasion of Cyprus worsened the situation and the USA enforced an embargo on the country. However, this act got the Turks' blood up rather than breaking their spirit. Nonetheless, Turkey's economic and technical capabilities did not permit the immediate establishment of an efficient naval industry. Therefore, a long-term program would need to be implemented doubtlessly. By the 1980s, after the USA lifted the embargo, Ankara sought Washington's permission to build the Oliver Hazard Periclass frigates locally. Following the refusal, Turkey turned to Germany for the Mako 200-class frigates. This project endowed the country with modern warship building capabilities. Drawing on this experience, Turkey launched the Milgan project in 1996. Despite numerous economic and political crises that caused significant delays, the Milgan project office was established in 2004 where the Navy, leading local defense industry companies, universities and research institutions collaborated closely. The first step materialized when the first other class corvette TCG Heybeliada was laid down in 2007. She was launched a year later and commissioned in 2011. Initially, Turkey planned to commission eight other class corvettes, two of which would be built in Navy shipyards and the other six in private sector shipyards. However, this number has been reduced to four and all corvettes were constructed at the Navy shipyards. Another other class based ship, TCG Ufuk, was completed as a signals intelligence gathering vessel. The Turkish Navy also plans to have 10 Hisar class offshore patrol vessels, which are again based on the other class. Two ships have already been launched. This corvette has also succeeded in the international market with Pakistan, Ukraine and Malaysia placing orders for four, two and three corvettes respectively. Following these achievements, it was time for the next step, the first domestically designed and built frigate. Turkey officially launched the Istif class frigate program on September 2, 2017. The first ship of the class, TCG Istanbul was laid down on February 4, 2020, launched on January 23, 2021 and commissioned on January 19, 2024. The Turkish Navy plans to acquire eight Istif class frigates. TCG Istanbul was constructed in the Navy's shipyards, while local commercial shipbuilding companies are responsible for building the remaining seven. The second and third ships, TCG Izmir and TCG Izmit, have already been launched. TCG Ichal, TCG Akdeniz and TCG Karadeniz are currently under construction. The final two, TCG Ege and TCG Marmara will be laid down shortly. The Istif class is essentially an enlarged version of the earlier Ada class anti-submarine warfare corvette. Unlike its predecessor, this multi-role frigate can execute anti-submarine, anti-surface and air defense warfare missions. According to the official statement, 
80% of the surface combatant has been designed and produced locally. The Istif class features a stealthy design. The frigate exhibits high operability in littoral waters thanks to its low drought and controllable pitch propellers. The ship has a helipad and hangar to accommodate an S-70B Seahawk and it can carry 31.6 tons of aviation fuel for the helicopter. Additionally, it features the locally developed Kushkopan helicopter handling system. The complement of the Istif class is 112 people. The frigate has a length of 113.27 meters, a beam of 14.42 meters and a drought of 4.15 meters. Its fully loaded displacement is approximately 3,170 tons. The propulsion system comprises one 30,000 horsepower GE LM 2500 gas turbine and two 5,766 horsepower MTU diesel engines. Its maximum speed is 29 knots. The Istif class has a range of 5,700 nautical miles, in other words, 10,545 kilometers at a speed of 14 knots. The Istif class had the ADVANT network-supported data-integrated combat management system developed locally according to the specific requirements of the Turkish Navy. It can automatically select the optimum sensor and weapon system based on identified threats, thereby reducing reaction time and enhancing combat effectiveness. The S-Band Jeng 400N 3D Active Electronically Scanned Array Search Radar has a range of 400 km and can track 1000 targets simultaneously. The X-Band Alpert 200N Low Probability of Intercept Surface Search Radar has an instrumented range of 90 km and can track up to 100 targets simultaneously. The XKA band Akrep 300 and Fire Control Radar and the Autopod Optical Director direct the weapon systems of Istif class. The Akrep 300 n has a range of 120 km. Alongside the Fersa hull mounted sonar and Hazir 100 and torpedo cannon measure system, the ship's electronic warfare suite, IFF system, laser warning receiver, and X band SATCOM are also domestically developed. Only the Vision Master navigation radar is sourced from abroad. The Istif class carries 16 Atmaja active radar guided anti ship missiles. The missile has limited land attack capability thanks to its INS, GPS, and barometric altimeter systems. Its range is 250 km. The Atmaja has a 220 kg high explosive fragmentation effective penetration warhead. Its dual data link enables target changes during flight. The fire control system of the Istif class can simultaneously manage four missiles. The frigate is equipped with a 16-cell midlast vertical launching system. As the USA restricts the export of the Mark 41, Turkey developed its national launcher. Each cell can accommodate four US-made RAM-162 ESSM missiles or domestic Hisar-D missiles or one Siper air defense missile. The RIM-162 ESSM has a range of 50 km and a top speed of Mach 4. Unlike its land-based variant infrared-guided Hisar-O, the Hisar-D features active radar guidance and a range of 40 km. Currently under development, the Siper will have a range of over 100 km. TCG Istanbul is equipped with a 76mm Siper Rapido gun, which has an effective range of 16 km and a rate of fire of 120 rounds per minute. Unlike the original Italian-made variant, it features a locally designed, more stealthy turret. The later Istif class frigates will possess domestic Denizhan naval guns. These guns have an effective range of 20 km and a rate of fire of 8 rounds per minute. The Istif class has one 35mm twin-barrel Gökdeniz close-in weapon system, which is effective against aerial targets at a range of 4000 meters and an altitude of 4000 meters. The rate of fire is 550 rounds per minute per barrel. It can fire 35 mm atom air burst ammunition. The ship also has two 25 mm stop remotely controlled weapon stations. The gun has a range of 3000 meters and a rate of fire of 200 rounds per minute. The locally developed 324mm Zipkin 100D torpedo tubes of the Istif class can launch US-made Mark 46 M5 and domestic Orca lightweight torpedoes. The active passive sonar homing Orca has a range of 15 km and a speed exceeding 45 knots. It would be incorrect to define the Istif class merely as a progression from corvette to frigate. 
Through the other class, Turkey demonstrated its capability to design naval platforms. However, this corvette still depended on mainly foreign subsystems, including radars, sensors and weapons. Using the proven platform design of the Ada class, the Istif class features locally developed subsystems. Thus, it also represents an advance in this field. This transformation naturally brings numerous advantages to Turkey. Firstly, the country has now become immune to embargoes. Secondly, its competitive capability in the international market has increased. Let's clarify this argument further. The T-129 attack helicopter has garnered interest from numerous nations. Nevertheless, the USA, which provides the helicopter's power plant, blocks some potential exports in favor of the AH-1Z and AH-64. As much of the major equipment of the ISTIF class is developed nationally, they can meet the specific requirements of the Turkish Navy more effectively. In the event of a war, the risk of critical radar, electronics and weapons information being provided to an enemy nation by a foreign supplier is also eliminated. As you know, relations between Turkey and Greece have always been somewhat problematic. Everyone can anticipate that the Western powers would likely provide critical information to Greece in the event of a possible Greco-Turkish war. However, you may notice that we use the phrase somewhat problematic. Although these two nations often seem on the brink of a war, we believe the situation is somewhat different. Yes, war rhetoric has always been popular among politicians on both sides of the agency, serving their domestic policies, again to some extent. Except for ultra-nationalists, which we can find in any country, no Greek or Turk wants a war really. Over the past century, Ankara and Athens have managed to prevent full-scale war, opting instead for minor skirmishes except for the Turkish invasion of Cyprus. Even in this instance, they succeeded in limiting the war and did not engage in direct combat against one another. Despite the high tone war cries, both sides recognized that such a conflict would lead to a catastrophic scenario for them. Furthermore, the Western world cannot afford to lose either Turkey or Greece, as both are equally significant from a geopolitical perspective. The USA issued an ultimatum when these countries edged toward total war during the 1995-1996 Imyakarta crisis. Washington stated, the first one to shoot will be shooting at us, and the crisis miraculously came to an end. So, although comparing the Istif class to the Kimon class may sound sexy, it is ultimately an impractical waste of time. Naturally, some of our Turkish and Greek viewers may disagree with our argument. You could be right, ultimately this is merely our analysis, not the words of God. The hull design of the Istif class does not introduce any innovation. It is comparable to any modern warship. In this project, Turkey aims solely to replace its older vessels with new, stealthy ones. From this perspective, the Istif class is designed to meet practical requirements rather than to be a game changer. Unlike newer, heavier European frigates, which should be more accurately classified as destroyers, this vessel is lightweight with a shallow draft. Its design evoked the South Korean Tegu class frigate. Turkey is now working on the next phase of the Milgan project, the TF-2000 air defense destroyer. Like South Korea, Turkey opts for a frigate in the frigate role while utilizing a destroyer for the destroyer role. Like the other class corvette, the Istif class frigate holds potential in the international market as many nations still seek to acquire affordable and cost-effective surface combatants. This time, Turkey also provides the ship's radar, electronics and weapons thus eliminating the need to negotiate with multiple countries for such an acquisition program. We can end the video without saying this. TCG Istanbul, not Constantinople. Why did Constantinople get the works? That's nobody's business but the Turks. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.